All right, hello everyone. I'm glad you all could make it today. In this video, I'm going to both explain a method of drawing mazes and show you one I did myself. I hope it all makes sense. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments. So there are some materials you're gonna need to make this kind of maze. You need to get two pieces of paper that are the same size and a pen or pencil of some sort. A pen that draws nice dark lines will probably work better, but a pencil is more gracious if, if you mess up. There are two main steps to drawing a maze. The first step is drawing all the paths. The st second step is drawing the walls. Imagine a corn maze or a labyrinth that you walk through. The path is what's under your feet and the walls are on either side of you. So we're gonna draw the paths first. That's what you see me doing right now. Later, you're gonna draw the walls where all the uh, white spaces are between the lines here. Drawing the paths first allows for more flexibility in going back and adding paths sprouting off parts you've already drawn. And in general, I just think it's less confusing. Uh, you've got to weigh the options for yourself though because the alternative is to just start off drawing the walls right away and then you won't have to uh, essentially draw the whole thing twice like I'm going to. I like the way I do it, but I don't think it's the only valid option. So start at the start, finish at the finish. Draw lots of different paths with some dead ends and even some loops. I think loops are useful because they can break simple computer programs that are made to solve mazes. Uh, you know, more robust programs will probably still be able to do it, but that's okay. The second step here is uh, where you need your second piece of paper. Put it on top of the first and get to tracing the white spaces between the lines on the first sheet of paper. Now, now you're drawing the walls. Uh, you might want to tape the two pieces of paper together uh, a little bit so that they don't shift at all. I took advantage of my glass desk and put some light shining up from underneath, essentially making my own light box. You can either use a light box or just thin paper. I think, I think normal printer paper should work fine. Uh, it's thin enough to see the lines clearly uh, through, through the paper if you make them nice and bold. So for the second step, you can once again use a pen or a pencil. I used a pen because that's what I do. I knew it would look better when scanned in, although you could probably tweak the exposure settings of a pencil drawing in Photoshop to make it look like it was a pen. Uh, so a pencil might be better depending on your resources. Also, if you use a pencil, you won't have to use Photoshop to edit a few little places where you messed up um, when you were tracing, like I did. So, I hope this helps some. Drawing mazes is pretty fun, uh, at least for me. Don't feel obligated to make this one, uh, or to make one this big. I would say at least start with a normal sheet of paper. Uh, and just take your time, enjoy it, and go get lost in your own maze. Also, a small side note. I'm not going to be doing fan mail videos the same way anymore. I've just started to get too many emails and it was too hard to keep track of it all. Um, so now I'm, I'll do fan mails uh, about comments on my videos that I think are interesting or I just like for some reason. So maybe once a month I'll put out a video uh, responding to some of your comments and they can be on any of my videos. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.